What is up guys and girls, 2Qs here. Long story short, today we're gonna to be trying to clean our bearings. Uh, I've been skating these bearings for about three months now. Um, they've definitely seen better days. I actually just popped them into some, some alternate wheels that I had here. And some of them are better than others, like that one doesn't move at all. Uh, that one literally doesn't move. And whenever you look up information online, there's actually a ton of different info out there. It gets kind of confusing. I watched one video, they said use WD-40. I watched another video that made it seem like if you use WD-40, the cops will show up at your house and arrest you. Um, so I guess don't ever use WD-40. I made it easy for myself. I have purchased this little uh, Bones Bearings Cleaner. All it is is like, I mean, you could probably make this yourself, honestly, but it's just this little screw thing. You put the bearings in between uh, each of these spots, put it in here, and then you can use some citrus cleaner, which I purchased on Amazon. I got both of these. I'll leave a link in the description below, but these are two pretty popular items, I feel like. Uh, this is the Sonic Citrus Cleaner and the Bones Bearing Cleaner. What we're gonna do first is go ahead and pop the bearings out of here um, the easiest way that I found to do this is to actually just go ahead and pry in there. That sounds bad pry, but just to go ahead and get your tool in there and then just kind of like put a little bit of uh, force and you'll hear it like clicking. Now I've never actually cleaned my bearings before, uh, so this will be the first time. So maybe I'm doing something wrong and you can let me know in the comments below, or maybe you just have something that works better for you. So we got one bearing out there, and we have the spacer. Don't want to lose that. Cool, so that's one down. Now, um, most bearings from what I've seen have like a little plastic shield that you can pry off, and you don't actually want to put in the cleaner just because it can wear away at it. These bearings are what came with my, my REMS and they have a like metal shielding on there and I don't think I could take that off so I'm not even gonna try to be honest with you. So let's go ahead and do the rest of these. Yeah, this one is just done for. One more to go. Once one of them comes out, it's usually a lot easier to get the next one out. Easy enough. And you just screw this thing on the top here. Be sure to use recommended cleaning agents and don't use water-based solvents or WD-40. So it actually even says it on here. And this stuff is actually a lot. There's, it's oily, which I wasn't expecting for some reason. So let's go ahead and put some in there. And I feel like that's enough. I just put it to maybe that line right there, not a lot. I'll go ahead and put this in here. And we're gonna shake it up. And I guess the idea is that it's like a little waterfall effect where, you know, the water starts from there and then drips down. Man, that water is already, that went from clear to black right away. Got a little towel so we can put uh, the bearings on there and wipe them off. And this video is brought to you by, by me. <laughs> Cause I paid for all this stuff. So I'm kind of like the sponsor, yeah? Oh yeah, we got some sand and grit and dirt all up in there. A lot, a lot of stuff came out. And we're gonna go ahead and let all those come off. I actually did order some, um, some. I think it's called Speed Cream, and it just arrived in the mail. I just got a notification right before I started this video saying that it's in the mail. Um, so I'll go ahead and apply some of that after this. Oh yeah, that's already, that's much better. You can feel some of them are still like locked up and then as you spin it, that that citrus cleaner is getting into the other spots and then it starts uh, starts speeding up. 
Like for example, this one right here is just done, right? Look at that. <laughs> that was just completely stuck five seconds ago. These bearings feel almost brand new now. Here's another one, it's completely locked. I can, I can hear, it sounds like there's sand inside of there. So let's go ahead and move it around a little bit. Let that stuff get in there. No, this one's this one's done for it. Eh? Maybe <laughs> not the best way to go about that. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back in there. Let's see if uh, maybe some extra time in there will will do it. Shake, 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 Sinora, shake your body liner. And there it is. Amazing. That's nuts. Wow. I really thought that bearing was done for, but it is like brand new now. Maybe not brand new, but it's definitely got some new life in it. So I'm actually super impressed. This stuff wasn't even that expensive. I really thought it was just water and citrus, but that is not the case. <laughs> um, and I really don't even think that that speed cream that I got is gonna be necessary. And as far as all the different information out there goes, I feel like really you don't need anything more than this. You, you do see this a lot. Um, a lot of people use it and for good reason, I guess. Can you just grab a bottle and put it in there and shake it around? Probably, but it's just nice to have something specifically made for the purpose that you're, uh, you're gonna use it for. So I'm gonna go ahead and let these dry up and then we'll pop them back into the wheels, put them on some skates and see how they feel. We'll go ahead and grab the first wheel and uh, these don't have a shield, like I said, it's just metal on both sides. So we'll go ahead and take the bearing. What I found is easiest is to just go ahead and place it there. It actually went all the way in with, with no, no, um, no force really needed. But usually what I would do there is go ahead and just take it and then push down on it and the flat surface flattens it out. Go ahead and take your spacer, throw it in there, and then uh, I take the next bearing, just put it on the other side and... There we go. Make sure you do this on a table you don't care about. <laughs> so that's one down. Beautiful. So we got all four wheels set up here. We got brand new life to these bearings. I mean, I really don't see uh So I have two sets of bearings now and I don't see myself needing new ones anytime soon as long as I have this cleaning kit. These are pretty much fidget spinners before fidget spinners were around. So we'll go ahead and pop these in some skates and let's check them out and see how they are. All right, so we've made it out to the skate park. I've got the wheels on and um, I'm gonna go ahead and try them out. So let's see, we'll see if this uh, cleaning kit actually does any good or if you're just better off buying new bearings. So let's check it out. All right, so we got this little, this little path here. I'm just gonna go for it and just cruise a little bit and see see how the bearings feel. I already definitely feel a difference here. They just kind of feel like they just keep gliding. You know that feeling you get whenever you go over a hill? You get that feeling in your stomach. It's kind of what new bearings feel like to me because they just kind of slip right out from under you. Uh, not in a bad way, it just means they're doing their job. So just cruising around the park here. And yeah, I gotta say, these bearings feel great. The, oh, where are we going? The, the cleaner definitely did its job. So like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below. Check it out. Um, and honestly, bearings aren't even that expensive, so 
if you're just thinking maybe you'll get new bearings, go for it. Uh, another thing I will note, I don't really feel like the uh, speed cream was necessary. Did it help? I'm sure it did, but maybe you want to save a few bucks. I really feel like you can get away with just using the citrus cleaner and the cleaning kit. So, uh, a few things, I, I think I've said it a few times now, but the cleaner definitely works. Bearings feel brand new, uh, even with the metal shield on them. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have um, suggestions for other videos I might be able to do, while also keeping in mind that I'm a beginner still, um, let me know and I'll check it out. To everyone who's hit me up, just letting me know maybe you're excited to get some new skates, you landed a new trick, whatever it might be. It's been awesome talking to you guys. As always, you know where to find me. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next one.